I swear it. It was like it was meant to be. She is my guardian angel. When she walked into my house six months ago on this day, I haven't turned to alcohol since. Six months ago, my life was a, a, a pile of broken pieces. Angel gave me gravity. She gave me the strength to pull myself together. Sober, six months. So she dies. something you'd like to say, sir? Oh, not particularly. Thank you, Tori. Congratulations. Well, I'm going to insist that you tell us something about yourself. Name's Randy. Um, having a, a bad day, I guess. Um, my girlfriend just left me. Uh, I was seeing her something like two years, so I'm real sad. So I figured I'd come here. Do you have an addiction? Huh? An addiction. This is an addict support circle meeting. You do have an addiction. Well, yeah. Yeah, I've got an addiction. And uh, it's probably a lot worse than what you're all sitting here complaining about, so. There's no smoking in oh, here. Hush, okay? I mean, I'm vulnerable right now. I'm on the verge of killing myself, and, and your lack of human compassion just is not helping. Really? Kill yourself? Blood's on your hands if I do. Let's just try this again, okay? Um. Hi, my name's Randy, and I'm a dick. That's not an addiction. Oh, I disagree. You see, the word addict in itself spells out the phrase, a dick. I mean, that can't just be a coincidence. Now, you see, addicts are defined as people who intentionally cause harm without fear of consequence. It doesn't actually matter if what they're doing is harmful or not, an addiction's only a problem if the world thinks it's a problem. Now, you people who do drugs and drink, you guys can quit that any time. You know, I mean, how hard can that really be? I mean, I've got the real problem here. Yeah. How'd your girlfriend break up with you? I think... I actually hate you. How'd you know she broke up with me? Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. I followed you through the last few support groups you've been going to. You've been talking a lot, but you never really said how she broke it off with you. I, it's not that I don't like you or that I've fallen out of love with you. It's that... Over the past two years, I have come to loathe the very ground you stand on. And there, there aren't enough baths in the world. 
in the world that can ever make me feel clean after you've so much as looked at me. You are, in the most literal and direct sense, my greatest mistake. <sighs> Gently. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. stand-up comedy before? Now, listen closely as this gets complicated. As of right now, this is yours. The whole thing. And if everything goes smoothly, you got nothing to worry about. But if my order takes longer than 10 minutes or you forget to refill his Diet Coke... Actually, just a regular Coke is it's okay. He'll have a diet. As the dining experience continues, I'm gonna begin to deduct from your total tip of Ten dollars. Now, I know what you're going to ask, and the amount that I'm going to deduct depends on what you do to earn said deduction. For example, if you do something drastic, like let's say confuse my order, the deduction may be in the dollar range. Yikes! Yeah. But if you do something a little more minor, like let's say not check on me every five to seven minutes, then you may be looking at only a few cents per incident. Now, does that sound good? I'll get right on those drinks. <laughs> uh, that's a good bit. Who are you again? Jake Stewart. I run a comedy club on the other side of town. And why are you following me? Because you were hilarious. You're genuinely hilarious, and I want to put you on stage. You scout for talent at local support groups? Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's low, man. Look, I can offer you 500 a night, three nights a week. And if it goes well, you never know. Word spreads fast in this business. You might be good at other gigs, too. It's all right, Jake. I've already got a job. Look, I don't think you're I hearing me, man. David Penn? Look, I don't think you're hearing me, man. You are cut out for this. <laughs> That's cute. There'll be girls. They may not be the cutest girls, but there will be girls. Your own personal dressing room. There'll be booze, full bar, for after the show. What do you think? I'll tell you what, Jake. You enjoy your meal. And mine, probably. But take my advice. Don't tip her too high. She's a cool, hard Look, bitch. Look, you can make people laugh, man. You go to these support groups, why? Because you want to stop being a dick? I don't buy that. Look, I'm offering you the chance to get up on stage, and not only is that okay, but you get to make people laugh while you're doing it. Everybody wins. Something like that. 
Why not? Material. What? What are you talking about, man? You gotta meet it out of the palm of your hand out there. Use that diner bit, it will kill it. No. I think I'm feeling something else coming on. Okay. I'm liking the sounds of that. What are you thinking? Can you improvise? You know why I went to those support groups? Yeah, because... You wanted to stop being a dick. <laughs> you know, ever since I was a kid, I always had a knack for breaking things. Just did it for the thrill, really. Used to break rules, property, glass, anything I could get my hands on. Everything just makes sense when it's in pieces, and I just need to understand. That's <laughs> all it is. People say addicts aren't afraid of consequence, but do you know what scares me more than anything else in the world? Need. That little piece of you that says, please, just just one more. You see, people aren't like rules or glass. Once you break them, there's nothing you can do to put them back together. But sometimes, I just can't find any reason not to see all those tiny pieces. Everything breaks. Maybe if those people were just a little bit more broken, they'd be able to see what they're really made of. But I doubt they like me so much. Huh? <laughs> 